The Burj Khalifa is the tallest building in the world and towers over its surroundings, but you would have to stack 14 of them on top of each other to reach the highest flying altitudes of some birds. To get to space, you would need to travel much, much higher. For a sense of scale, the average height of a human is 1.65 meters. The tallest giraffe can reach 6 meters. The tallest dinosaur was Brachiosaurus, which may have been 12 to 16 meters tall. It has been theorized that an even larger dinosaur called Sora Poseidon may have been able to reach 18 and a half meters, but this dinosaur is only known from a few neck vertebrae. The tallest trees in the world are redwoods, which are averagely around 90 meters tall. The tallest redwood is called Hyperion and is 115 meters tall. The Eiffel Tower is 334 meters tall. In 1912, a man named Franz Reichelt jumped to his death, trying to flight test a homemade flying suit. The Empire State Building is 443 meters. The Dodge Bridge is 565 meters tall, being the highest bridge in the world as it covers a gorge in China. The generally accepted definition of a mountain is a landmass taller than 609.2 meters, or 2,000 feet. The tallest building in the world is the Burj Khalifa, at 830 meters tall. At 979 meters, Angel Falls is the tallest waterfall in the world. At around 3,000 meters, you would reach the maximum flight altitude of bats. At 3,500 meters, it is possible to have fatalities from altitude sickness. The highest capital city is the Bolivian capital of La Paz, at 3,650 meters. At 4,000 meters, the largest wild animals are mountain goats. At 4,150 meters, you have the highest city in the world. El Alto, which is also in Bolivia. Amazingly, this city is also fairly big, with a population of over 1 million. 4,500 meters is the maximum height eagles have been observed flying at. An ancient pterosaur called Quetzalcoatlus, that was the size of a giraffe, making it the largest animal ever to fly, is theorized to have reached altitudes of 4,600 meters. At 4,900 meters, you reach the highest tree line. Any higher than this point is too cold or there is too much snowfall for trees to grow. The highest large animal and highest mammal are Tibetan yaks that can live comfortably at altitudes up to 5,000 meters. Above 5,500 meters, the oxygen is too low for humans to live permanently. Arenaria bryophylla is the highest flowering plant that have been found as high as 6,180 meters. The highest plant in the world is a moss that is found on Mount Everest at 6,480 meters. The highest permanent resident is the Himalayan jumping spider that can live at altitudes of 6,700 meters. They live in many parts of the Himalayas, including Everest, and live off eating insects that have been blown up to high altitudes by the strong mountain winds. As they are the most likely highest land animal in the world, they can enjoy having very few to no predators. The tallest volcano in the world is 6,893 meters tall. At 7,600 meters you reach the dead zone, where the oxygen is at 33% of at sea level. If you took someone from sea level to pass this height without acclimatizing, they would die in less than an hour. At 8,091 you reach the peak of Annapurna, the 10th tallest mountain in the world that is also the most dangerous. Out of all the people that have attempted to climb this mountain, 38% have died. Out of every three people that climb this mountain, one of them dies. This is very high, but all the 14 peaks over 8,000 meters are dangerous to climb. K2, the second tallest, has a 26% death rate, and Everest a 4%. At 8,848 meters high, you would reach the peak of Mount Everest, the highest place on Earth. At the summit, the air pressure is a third of what it is at sea level, so water boils at 71 degrees Celsius. At 10,000 meters high, you would find the Comet Crane, the second highest flying bird in the world. This height was recorded above the Himalayas, where they fly at such great heights to avoid being preyed on by golden eagles that inhabit the mountain passes. 10,600 meters is the average altitude that commercial jets fly at. If the deepest part of the ocean, Challenger Deep, was flipped upside down, it would come 10,916 meters above the ocean. The highest flying bird ever recorded is Rupel's Vulture, that has been confirmed to reach altitudes of 11,300 meters. 17,083 meters high is the highest altitude recorded for a biplane that was achieved in 1938 by Mario Pezzi. At 19,000 meters, you must wear a pressurized spacesuit, as the pressure is so low that the boiling temperature of water is lower than body temperature. 
21,500 meters is the height achieved by the American reconnaissance planes like U-2 and SR-71 over the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union had long-range radars that could easily detect conventional aircraft. It was believed that if they reached a very high altitude, they would be undetectable. Not on Earth, but at 21,945 meters on Mars, you would reach the tallest structure in the solar system, the volcano Olympus Mons. More than twice the height of Everest, the entire base of the volcano is almost the size of France. At 37,650 meters, you would reach the highest altitude ever reached by an aeroplane. This was achieved in 1977 in a Russian MiG. The highest ever skydive was 4,421 meters and was conducted from a balloon. At 100,000 meters, you would reach space. There is no distinct edge to the Earth's atmosphere as it gradually gets thinner and thinner, but the generally accepted boundary between space and the Earth's atmosphere is called the Kármán line, which is set at 100 kilometers above sea level. At 408,000 meters above sea level, you would reach the International Space Station. And at 363 million meters, you would reach the moon when it's at its closest.